In this video, I'm going to show you how we make this delicious crawfish etouffee. This is a dish we make in South Louisiana. And on a recent visit home, my stepfather made it and I was able to capture it on video. So I'm going to show you how it's made. It's so good. It's so delicious. And it reminds me of home. As with any South Louisiana dish, you start with the Holy Trinity. You've got onions, bell peppers, celery. We decided to try the Kerrygold butter this time. Normally we would use the regular butter, but we decided to branch out and try something different. We melted the two sticks of butter in a stainless steel pan over a medium heat. You want a pan that you can stir easily with um, because you're gonna do a lot of stirring in this dish. Once the butter melted, we added an onion and a bell pepper and the three stalks of celery that we had previously chopped. Adding the onion and bell pepper lowers the heat a little bit, so we just kind of watch it and chop it, make sure it, it all integrates with the butter. So this is what it'll look like once the butter and the onions and bell pepper and celery sort of melt together. You just want to see them begin to incorporate so that they'll begin making that yummy sauce. Here it is a little while later. This probably all took place over 30 minutes and you can see how the butter has become more clear. That's what you're looking for. And here it is even a little more clear and you can see how it, it looks when you stir it. We've been cooking it on medium low all this time. So once it first started heating up, we lowered it to medium low and just kept it there. These are the seasonings we're gonna add. Keeping it very simple, we're just gonna add Tony Sachery's and garlic powder along with one third cup of flour to thicken the sauce. Here we're just moving the vegetables over to the side and allowing the butter to slide over and then adding the flour to begin making the sauce. Whenever you mix oil and flour like this, it's called a roux. This would form the basis of the sauce. And just sort of gradually blending the flour and the butter with the onions and vegetables to kind of make sure the flour cooks all the way down. And just continuing to stir it all together, stirring frequently, kind of, kind of babying it, but this is how we get that wonderful delicious sauce just preparing ahead of time the water to add to the sauce so we're going to start with one and a half cups by the end of the whole process i think we'd use about two and a fourth cups
So we just added one and a half cups of water. As we go, you'll see we add a little more, but this is what we started with. Now that we've added the water, we bring it back up to a high heat. We had kept it on medium, low, or low, but we're going to bring it up to high so that we can get it to a boil. As you can see, it's really starting to incorporate well. You want the butter and the flour and the water to all blend well, so bringing it up to a high heat will help that process. Now we're just going to leave it covered for about 20 minutes. As you can see, it's boiling in there. Um, we're just going to let it all cook together. At this point, we start preparing the rice. So we're going to cook it in a rice cooker. That's how we do it. But if you prefer cooking it on the stove or if you use instant rice, however you do it, this is the point to start cooking the rice. Also, we made three cups of rice this time. That's how much we made to have on hand to go with our crawfish etouffee for a few days. We're about 10 minutes into the 20 minutes and this is what it's looking like. So you just want to keep stirring it all throughout the process. It's, it's one of those dishes you have to kind of baby. <laughs> At this point, we're ready to add the crawfish. So we got this crawfish. This is local Louisiana crawfish out of Mamou, Louisiana. And we always use local crawfish. Um, when I get back to Seattle, I'll probably have to do it with shrimp because I don't think I can get crawfish tails, but either way, it'll be good. used two pounds of crawfish for this dish. I guess you would measure it about one pound of crawfish per stick of butter. And if you cut the butter and crawfish amount in half, then you also just have to remember to cut everything else in half, like half of a third cup of flour and the vegetables as well. seasoning after the taste test we're just gonna let it simmer for another 10 minutes until it's all incorporated and then it's done and the rice is ready at this point too it takes about 20 minutes to cook three cups of rice so keep that in mind We started making the etouffee at 2.22, so an hour and 20 minutes total. Ça c'est bon.
I've been told that I need more sauce. <laughs> so I added more sauce. Look at that sauce. Oh, yeah. For those of you who stuck around to the end, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I plan to make some more Cajun cooking videos, some more Creole cooking videos in the future. So stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you soon.